GM, my friends, welcome to another episode of Mastering StarkNet, the tutorial series where we explore the projects, the protocols, and the infrastructure being built on the StarkNet scaling solution. So let's get ready for another exciting episode and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow our X page. Well, today we are going to speak about uh, a very important news that was announced yesterday and it is about uh, the uh, launch of the MetaMask Snaps uh, uh, suit. So first of all, uh, MetaMask Snaps is a suit of uh, uh, customizable uh, extensions that can be added uh, to MetaMask and developers can create uh, uh, these kinds of extensions without, without asking MetaMask for permission. And uh, these kind of uh, extensions can be included in different categories, such as uh, uh, notification services, uh, security services, uh, and also interoperability uh, extensions that would allow users to enjoy uh, non-EVM chains like StarkNet using a MetaMask snap. And uh, in fact, today we're speaking about uh, the StarkNet uh, MetaMask Snap, which is included uh, in the snaps that are now available uh, on the beta version of MetaMask Snaps. And we are going to see how to install them on your browser and on your wallet. So let's have a look. So first of all, uh, we can access uh, the MetaMask uh, uh, Snaps uh, dashboard by the thread uh, that was posted uh, uh, yesterday on the 12th of September on the MetaMask uh, Twitter account. And uh, yeah, then click on the MetaMask Snaps uh, directory and uh, you will land uh, on the Snaps uh, landing page where you can see all the Snaps that are available so far on uh, MetaMask Snaps. And uh, you can easily notice the one about StarkNet. So we click on it, we read about uh, the info, its description. So. The StarkNet Snap allows users to deploy StarkNet accounts, make transactions on StarkNet, and interact with StarkNet Smart Con. After installing the Snap, visit the website to set up your StarkNet account. So firstly, we need to add uh, this Snap to MetaMask. Now we make sure that uh, our MetaMask account uh, is logged in and uh, we simply have to install uh, the Snap and accept the disclaimers. And the installation uh, gets completed uh, pretty fast. And then you simply have to go to the uh, StarkNet uh, page related uh, to the Snap, which is this one. Here we can also read uh, another informative uh, pop-up. So let's click on connect with MetaMask. Let's connect uh, to our Snap, read further information about MetaMask Snaps. And here we are, we have our StarkNet Snap installed uh, on our MetaMask and we can now give a look at our own account. Well, this is how your MetaMask uh, StarkNet Snap uh, dashboard uh, looks like. Make sure to remember that this StarkNet Snap depends on your MetaMask account's passwords. So that means that if you lose your uh, MetaMask password, you won't be able to recollect this um, account. Hopefully in the future, we'll also be able to uh, migrate uh, our existing uh, StarkNet uh, accounts uh, on MetaMask Snap, but for the time being, it's not possible. Therefore, all the StarkNet uh, Snaps that will be created uh, in this period are depending on the MetaMask's passwords. All right, so it is not like using an hardware wallet, which is not depending on the MetaMask account, right? You can use your hardware wallet using MetaMask, and if you lose your password, it won't be a problem. But in, the, in this case, it will be a huge problem because this snap is connected to a MetaMask account, which can be recovered only with the password that you set when you created your MetaMask account, right? Anyway, let's play a bit with our uh, StarkNet Snap by sending uh, some money uh, to it from one of our uh, StarkNet uh, native wallets. So in our case, uh, we are using uh, Bravos. Simply copy paste uh, the address of your MetaMask uh, uh, StarkNet Snap uh, on Bravos and send uh, a small quantity, I would say. so. It is a new uh, beta version, therefore you need to act cautiously. So let's play with very little money, such as $15, all right? 
And here we have uh, our money on the Starknet uh, snap. For the time being, as far as I know, you can't use uh, the MetaMask uh, uh, snap uh, uh, with, uh, with Starknet dApps, but I'm sure such ability will be implemented uh, uh, very, very soon. And that's all about uh, this tutorial on the MetaMask uh, Starknet snap. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to follow us on X and to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Having said that, thanks a lot once again and see you on the next episode of Mastering Starknet. Bye!